following my recent uh, video on YouTube about how to create zip folders, I've received a number of inquiries about how you actually open the zip folder when you receive it by email. So in this instructional video I'm going to explain the process. To keep it simple for myself I'm going to uh, save all the various items onto this typical memory stick. This is a Transend memory stick which I'm now going to push into the USB port on my computer. You're currently looking at a typical desktop which I've customised with my own background picture. On the left you see a number of typical icons. If you now click the computer icon you'll see everything that your computer is loaded with. I'm particularly interested in the Transend memory stick which is the one I've just pushed in the USB port. If you double click it you'll find that this folder is empty. That's good. That's exactly as I want it so as to keep things nice and simple. Okay so uh, if we now go to the my email page uh, you'll find that the zip folder, the test zip folder has arrived. So you have the option then to download the file. So you click down, download file and then you'll then find that you have two further options and you can either open the file or save the file. At this stage we'll just open it. But I have to warn you that once we get to the pictures there's nothing you can do with them other than just look at them. But for the sake of this demonstration I'll go through the full procedure. So here we have all the various folders, uh, f photos. So if you double click on the first one for example you'll see that's the picture. But there's nothing you can do with it. Even if you go to file or if you, if you right click none of the options offer you anything useful. So you abandon that. OK so we'll go back to the uh, email page and this time instead of opening the photos from this menu we'll select save. Now this is where it gets clever because it's very important that you take a specific option on where you want to save your your zip folder. If you don't your computer will save it anywhere and you'll probably have difficulty finding it again. In my case it's opted to save it in the documents library. I don't want to save it in the documents library I want to put it in the Transend memory stick. So if you look on the left hand side you'll see computer and all the various options and there you'll find Transend. So I click Transend and sure enough my empty uh, Transend memory stick appears. The, the file name is the test zip which is down here. You click save. The bar chart will now illustrate the saving progress. As it's fairly large it's going to take a few seconds. Now it invites you to open the folder. So you click open and there you find that the test zip has arrived on the Transend memory stick. If you double click on test zip you'll find you've got your five pictures again. Click on the first one and the picture appears. Now the wonder with using Windows 7 you have two options as to what to do with the pictures. You can simply drag them across to wherever you, whichever folder you want for my documents for example and that picture will have been copied into my documents. Or you can click, right click on the, on the picture, select copy and then you can save it wherever you want. We'll go back to my open Transend memory stick for example, right click and the option here is paste. Click paste, wait a few seconds and then the picture will have appeared. Double click on it, that's the picture. Now you have lots of options. You can copy and delete it, paste it, uh, open it with various other options, uh, picture manager in particular if you want to enhance the picture. Lots and lots of options. So there you are. Uh, it's very easy to handle zip folders like anything once you know how to do it. Hope this you f hope you found this helpful.